Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. Uh, my name is Darius, Community Manager at SCS Software and well, it's a pleasure to be here for me for the first time in the year of 2023. And today we're going to talk about the Christmas Reflections World of Trucks event that is currently ongoing in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. And I'm joined by our game designer Maggie, who Many yes. of you might know, but I suppose we can take like one or two minutes to just let you quickly introduce yourself to the community, what, what you are doing at SCS and just just briefly, just okay. a brief intro. Sure. Uh, well, hi guys. Uh, good to see you again to those who have seen streams with me before. Uh, thanks for joining again. I am Maggie. I'm game designer at SCS Software and um, one of the many tasks uh, that I'm doing is um, the events. I'm designing events for you guys to explore new DLCs, to explore um, interesting cargo and give you some challenges that uh, hopefully you all master. So far you're doing very good. Yeah, and um, Chad is already excited to see you. Everybody is waving, which is very nice. Waving back. <laughs> so, somebody says in the comment, comments we love you Darius I love you too <laughs> and um, yeah I guess we can we can get right into it just, just briefly talk about the the event I suppose the the basics um, first question what is the event about just just to just to sum it up for the community let's get our overview in here so um, as most of you maybe have know uh, so our event is called this time Christmas Re Reflections and um, the event is, um, has, as always, a community goal, a uh, personal goal. So our community goal was to deliver at least 2,000 gifts to as many po cities po as possible and that includes ETS2 and ATS, so both uh, games, um, both um, deliveries are being counted um, for this. And the uh, uh, personal goal was to deliver uh, at least 15 deliveries with the gift cargo. Um, yeah, that's pretty much All right. yeah. the, the uh, rules of the event. Apparently our progress is only one out of 15. Uh, we've been busy. Yeah, yeah, we've been busy and uh, I'm not sure if you're going to cover that entire goal on this stream, but um, I'm sure we will contribute to the event a little bit at some point. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we summed up the, the start, we summed it all up. And as you can see, you can find all the information about the event in the game or where else. Um, so we have, as always, two websites. So one, um, you can find information on our blog and uh, also on the website worldoftrucks.com. And um, most of the most of the important information is really already here in the in game, and you can also hear this link is also pretty nice. Um, I checked it out. Uh, this is showing where you guys delivered to um, already, because there is a, a max. Uh, you cannot deliver more than one thousand gifts uh, to a city, <coughs> and then um, it's eligible to be counted as one gift. And um, so I, I checked it out and I noticed that, especially for the ETS, uh, you have been uh, hauling and delivering a lot, especially in Texas, which is pretty cool, which kind of makes me very happy because <laughs> I have been working on the Texas event um, and it was a very big project uh, and Texas was, I think, is at this state our biggest DLC that we brought out so far. So I'm, I'm very happy that um, you guys took the chance to explore Texas, probably kind of logical because the Texas event was going, um, it's going parallel, and I think they are both uh, ending at 15th of January. So you have three more days to enjoy the Texas and to enjoy our Christmas event so far. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so this is the link that brings you to the overview what cities have been delivered to and which are already um, at max. And so ATS was Texas and uh, ETS, 
I saw so many cities, especially in Germany, uh, the UK and Poland, to have been delivered to, which is nice. So is good job, yeah. good job, people. Yeah, I mean, our German community is awesome, so that's no surprise. But yeah, yeah, that's really nice to hear. Um, yeah, we do. Do you want to jump into the lore now, or? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, just a quick fun side information, fun fact. Uh, so I've been um, working on this event together with my colleague Gavin. He's also game designer. He's um, responsible for almost all of the events, um, at least so far. And he has been, um, he, he dived into the Christmas event a lot and he was most responsible for most of the things. So I've been just assisting him at times. Uh, I was mainly uh, part of the process in the beginning of um, finding the theme um, uh, with the rewards and uh, what kind of rewards, stuff like that. That's uh, what I did mostly, but Gavin was writing the lore. And I think the lore, it turned out pretty awesome. It's uh, really nice uh, to, to see how creative he got with the poem. And I asked him about the poem and he said, like, there was not really any particular reason for him to choose to write a poem. He just thought of it, tried it out, and then he felt just the, the creativity coming. And it was helping him to um, yeah, come up with and uh, having a flow. And then we ended up with this cool poem. And he, he told me that he um, thanks the community that they like his poem. Because apparently he saw that comments true. like that. Yes, yes. I was, when I was browsing the comments about the event, I can confirm that the community actually, actually really liked the comments. Chat. Do you guys like the poem that yeah. Gavin wrote? How many have you seen it? It's on the blog, so might as well check it out if you haven't seen it yet. He's our Shakespeare, uh -huh. apparently, <laughs> says presumably Namiro under the SES account. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Gavin is known to be very good with uh, words since he's a uh, native speaker. We often rely on him. <laughs> That's true. Yes, um, I can also jump right into the rewards. Yeah, if you yeah, want me let's to. get to the rewards. Yeah. Okay, so we have five tiers in total for the community rewards, and um, so it's uh, the love, peace, hope, care, and the fifth tier, fifth reward, is um, the the paint job, lines of reflection, and um, so before I got. <coughs> Sorry, before I get into the rewards itself, I would like to tell you a little bit about the thought process in the background. Um, Go for it. Can, should I just talk freely or do I have to drive during that? Uh, I mean, should, should we let Chad decide? Chad, do you want to see Maggie drive at the same time? I mean, yeah, I suppose, yeah. If, okay. if, if you will manage to talk about the rewards, to talk about everything. Let's see if I will. And drive at the same time. Yeah, yeah, and even chat agrees, yes. Okay, so, chat agrees. Uh, this time, we actually managed to set up everything <laughs> beforehand. Yes, and like, I hope I will not forget <laughs> yeah, the, we, the buttons and we stuff. We managed to set it up like two minutes before the stream started, so yes. it's a progress, okay? Better than last time. <laughs> and we are actually right now a job should be selected, which is a World of Trucks job. And we are going to be, it should have the special trailer for this event. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. So let me, can I? Uh, sorry, how do I change the view? Change the view, which one? The view to oh, this one. There you go. That's one. I'd like to help. Cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, we have these five rewards for the community. And I go straight. Yes. And um, especially, sorry, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so. Especially the um, background idea for the theme for Christmas. Um, that's something that I've been involved to. Uh, I don't know if I want to say, but um, actually everyone had to do some brainstorm. So at this moment for Christmas, uh, everyone in the company is allowed to put something um, out there and say, like put there some ideas that will be collected and then discussed 
and I had the idea uh, to go with, I don't know, something like universal values that is important for everyone um, and not not just the typical boring Christmas stuff that we all know or um, nothing commercial. Um, that was something also that our CEO wanted to see, to have something more universal that everyone can relate to. Um, and I came up with the uh, peace, love and hope idea and um, then it has been discussed and it was apparently positive, very positive received and it was pretty cool. But it's just three topics, three themes and we wanted to um, give you guys a few more tiers than that. So we were also brainstorming about that, what could be our last value and then we came up with the care. So uh, that was the, the idea behind the, the theme for Christmas. Why am I getting slow? Fair. Yes. Yeah, uh, so we wanted to have a, something like a universal message because frankly like peace is Everyone wants peace in the world, right? Kind of. Um, it's also, I think, Christmas is known, or at least in, in my perception, um, it's associated with a peaceful time when the snow is falling, if we have snow <laughs> during this time. We didn't have so much during Christmas, at least not in Czech Republic, I think. Um, but if there's snow falling, you have kind of, a, you get a feeling of, mm, this this silence and contemplation and being peaceful kind of reflecting on the year uh, together there's uh, kind of the year's over and then you have hope for the future um, so this is also uh, one of the values that we came up with also during Christmas you're most likely meeting your loved ones um, spending your time with family or friends wait yes and um, that's why I love and then lastly uh, we came up to choose for care as our last value Christmas value uh, because yeah it's kind of to coming together with the uh, with the love and the other values as uh, you're caring caring for each other and Christmas is has a chance to be a time where where that is more relevant where people are thinking more about one another, taking more care of each other, and maybe being mind, being more mindful, thinking about themselves as well. Taking care of yourself is something that's sometimes even more difficult than taking care of others. Um, so that's why we we chose these four values because they're universal, not depending on anything. Like you can be religious or not religious. Um, and it still applies to you. Yeah, uh, very nice. Yeah, I have to say very nice. And I believe that the community agrees because everybody, the, the reception has been amazing, really, about the, about the event and about, especially about the message, which, as, as you mentioned, is, is very important this time around. And, and Do you remember one of the comments? the oh. overall feeling from the community? Oh, you mean, you mean type of comment like awesome event, a hard emoji, hard emoji? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, there was a lot of comments like that. So uh, just, just by those, I assume that uh, the community really likes it. Uh, and they, I mean, I already saw it brought up in the, in the chat, which is like, a lot of people also like the fact that we added the special background, which mm -hmm. is um, something that we wanted to talk about. I'm not sure if we want to talk about it now or later after like talking about the personal reward. Or Since you mentioned it, sure. Um, wait, one second. Give me... Just trying not to crash and get... You don't have to go to the right. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, it's like ten meters right. Uh, uh, it's this one or the next. I think it's the next one. 
No, I think it's going to be the next one, but I'm, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah, I see the yeah, Christmas I see it. trailer. It's the next one. It is. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about the Christmas trailer as well. Um, but first, I need a different view. Yeah, this is gonna help be helpful. Yeah. So until I pick up the until I pick up the cargo, I'm just gonna distract the chat in a bit, and I'm gonna ask everybody for their location. Uh, location check. Anyone? Where are you watching the stream from today? Which, by the way, we are really grateful for you tuning in. And I have to bring up the fact that I noticed just before the stream started that we are missing only about 300 followers until 50k. That is Ooh. that is amazing, yeah. And I already see that it went up because I tweeted it as well. I was a very, uh, <clears throat> I was very desperate and shameless about it on our <laughs> Twitter. So I tweeted it out, and yeah, I see it's it's going up. So listen, we we have 400 viewers right now. If everybody says to, to uh, tell your friend, everyone, and we're gonna get there easily. Like, it just needs needs something like that. But yeah, location check. In the meantime, uh, Slovakia, nice. Uh, Germany, London, uh, Czech Republic. Netherlands, Vancouver, Canada, nice, cool. Colombia, that, yeah, it's all over the world, what do you know, yeah, oh, hey, oh okay, you're ready, okay, yes, perfect, I'm ready. perfect, yeah, um, we can continue now, before, so, um, we, you briefly just yes. mentioned it, so this is the Christmas uh, desktop that, um, our team came up with uh, very snowy, very nice. A lot more snow than we had in real life, unfortunately. <laughs> but <laughs> I hope this is making up for it a little bit. A few little presents in the corner. It was very, it's a very cute little um, background, that's the background, I think. So, um, the reason for putting this during the Christmas um, is because they were um, receiving a lot of positive feedback apparently for the Halloween yes. uh, desktop background. And yeah, we wanted to uh, get a bit uh, translate the feeling of the Christmas, translate the feeling of the event, of um, having like this, you see like the, the snow, falling snow, which is again, giving out a bit of the peaceful feeling or something with the snow sparkling, the, the snow sparkles when there's sun shining on it. Um, I think they made, did a really good job with that. And um, yeah, so it, especially for the event to, to give it a, a little special something, um, we decided for, for uh, putting out another uh, desktop background. Yeah, um, because I remember when we created the, the background for the Halloween event, it was, I mean, people, people were just, I don't know, it just became popular very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And so it's no surprise that we went for something yeah. special for this event as well. We made this kind of as a, as a thank you for taking part in our event and I'm translating this feeling of snowy Christmassy yeah. times. Um, I'm, me, myself, I'm not involved in the desktop background. That would be Gavin. Gavin is working on this um, and he has been facilitating to make this possible, which is a really nice result, I would say. And uh, he, uh, he told me that um, like he didn't tell me much about it, but um, he thinks that in the future we will come up, hopefully, with more backgrounds like these to to um, give you guys a, a, a special feeling during the events. So, about that. So, next thing I want to talk about is the trailer. Uh, I, thought, I think you guys can see. So, there's some light happening, some sparkles as well. And these are our four... Uh, tears, right? So there's the love, there's the peace, there's the hope, and there's the care. Um, I can talk about this, uh, the icons briefly. So uh, the idea of the icons um, was a little bit more complicated because everyone has an imagination, some associations with one of these values, and um, like it's it's it was a bit difficult to find. Um, something that we all agreed on. A love was kind of logical, of course, the heart. Um, then with the dove, we 
with, with a, a piece which shows the, the dove as a reflection of peace and the hope is like, you know, the light, a little bit of a like, light uh, at the end of the tunnel idea. But also during Christmas times, you have these candles everywhere and you're just feeling hopeful or something for next year. The things that didn't go well this year go better next year or something like that. And then the two hands, um, that was a more of a challenge to find a symbol for that. But I'm, I'm super happy with it uh, because it really, I get the feeling as you, it really reflects the care. Like you are reaching out to your loved one, to your friend, to someone else and taking the hand, taking care of them or something like that. Is there anybody we should shout out for the design? From the design team, do you, do you have any? Do you remember any names? Anybody who, who was responsible for drawing or something like that? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, this is as as often uh, thanks to Volka and Michal um, with the with the symbols, with the drawings, and they did a really good job. Oh, here is it even in a bit more daylight. Oops, that was the wrong. Let's drive forward instead of back road. Um, so depending on this, uh, we try to find corresponding rewards for it. And as always at Christmas, we have different tiers. I already mentioned it. So this year we had five tiers. The first tier was love. Second tier was peace, then hope, then care. And we try to find something that is reflecting also with the symbols that we eventually chose um, to go for on the Christmas trailer. Um, so for the love, we have this uh, cushion, it not not super um, crazy uh, kitsch or something, but in in this case, it was the Christmas. I don't know. I don't think I have it now. Sadly, sadly, I don't have the the rewards in there. Why don't don't we have the rewards in our trucks? Um, Forget about it. It's a good question. Um, <laughs> Someone? I will, <laughs> I will find, find a reason for this for next time. Um, but anyways, so you can also see it written there, love, hope, and stuff. That's kind of cool. And it looks like a wrapping paper, actually. Yeah, and Christmas I assume the, the lights, since it's so shiny, since there are the lights there, yeah, as, you can, as we can see. Yeah. I, I guess that's because of, if I remember correctly, last year we, we had like lights on the truck as, yes. a, as a reward. And that was very popular with the community. Mm. So building from yeah. that, we wanted to continue yeah. with this. So uh, back to the reward. So we have a um, cushion with a heart shape on it. We have a hanging dove um, as a hanging toy. <coughs> Sorry, as a hanging toy in your tra uh, trailer, not truck. And um, then there is a very Christmassy looking candle and um, the last one is a blanket with the pattern of these hands. So all things that you need for cold Christmas time, cold, um, the cold winter, uh, a blanket, a pillow, candle, um, and something nice to look at. So that was the idea behind. And then we also really loved how the trailer turned out. And since this is a very universal message, um, and very meaningful event this time. Uh, we wanted to um, also m give a, give you guys an event trailer, but then we chose um, for um, something else than the event trailer. So we we wanted to keep the symbols to remind um, and celebrate this Christmas, but uh, we wanted to make it into something that you guys could use throughout the year. So it's not just, it doesn't look so Christmassy. Then we, we chose the really cool neon style, uh, called it Christmas reflection, no, um, like lines of Christmas or something like this. Yeah, exactly, lines of reflection, that was it. And um, so you can use it throughout the year, not just during Christmas, since especially it's a universal, um, meaningful values. So you can carry carry them on throughout the year. It's not just, of course, not just for Christmas time. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Okay, so I can continue. Yeah, with so this I one. guess we can drive. And um, I know this was a tricky question. I'm I'm fairly sure that we pretty much covered half of this. 
but how how was the I don't know like the development process or how to better describe it like you, we already were talking about the idea how how it originated how it started with the idea and how did it continue from there on the the can you can you describe a little bit the the production or the process of it um well it was um as far as I know, it was going as much well similarly to other events that we have usually. So um, usually we always start with like the general brainstorm: what should be the topic, what should be the theme. Then we go with okay, what should be the rewards? Why should the rewards be like this? How should they look? Um, and then the the artists are taking over, and then once the artists are done. Um, they, uh, the rewards go into testing, the event trailer goes into testing and um, once the testing is done then our marketing uh, department can take over and start making the banners. Um, I think they made a really cool, really beautiful banner for the Christmas. Um, thank you. One second. Oh, oh, I'm part of marketing. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Marketing said thank you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, of course, I mean, you deserve I mean, it. I mean, I am part of it, so in the name uh, of marketing, I'm just going to I say see. thank you. Yeah. yeah. You did a good job on that. I really like that one. It was very light, full of lights and snow as well. And um, yeah, from that point on, we can pretty much implement the, the event. But it usually it takes, and a normal event takes about, I would say, like two or three months to yeah. produce. And Christmas, it's just so much bigger. I, um, I don't even remember when we started. I think we already started talking and thinking about it in April, <laughs> which is a yeah. bit funny because, you know, you just right before summer and then you think like, oh, okay, let's talk about Christmas. And um, Yeah, I actually remember that it was very it's not early. The, the, the mindset is different at that time. When it's starting to be September and stuff and you see that the shops um, put the Christmas decorations already in their uh, shelves and then the mindset is coming automatically but in April you're not thinking about Christmas usually so that was a, also a little bit of a fun <laughs> a fun challenge in that regard. Alright and since we are talking about the production now or production process what was the what was the what is the background of the creation of the rules of the numbers and stuff like that if it hasn't been said which I believe it doesn't so yeah that's right so <coughs> uh, we have apparently one second I'm, I'm focused on the road we have um, 517 cities uh, in total counting uh, the cities in both games so that is our um, base or something that we could, uh, that we can work with. Then we were comparing with our Christmas event from last year. And last year we had a community goal of two million four hundred fifty, I think. Um, and that was apparently a bit challenging because that was barely uh, barely achieved. So we we tried to not over challenge you again and we brought a little bit down to just two million because <laughs> <Just. laughs> it's still an incredible incredible number um, but apparently you guys got a lot a lot better um, or you you just had less to do this Christmas opposed to last Christmas but uh, frankly you already reached the the community goal I think just like 10 days after um, as far as I remember, I think the, the event started 15th of December and um, sorry, and um, 25th of December you already have achieved the community goal, which is really just in, within Christmas. So it was kind of a, also a feeling of you, you got this uh, present for achieving <laughs> Achieving the community goal right on Christmas, you made yourself a Christmas present by getting um, uh, unlocking all the tiers and um, getting all the rewards. Yeah, so technically it was on Christmas in a lot of countries, right? Because 
not around here, because around here Christmas is considered 24th, but I know that I, I think in UK especially it's like 25th mm. is Merry considered well. to be to be Christmas, mm. quote quote. So technically, yeah, it was reached on Christmas, which is amazing. No, even the 25th is, I think, um, the, the next the first Christmas day or something like that. Yeah, it's 26th yeah. second Christmas day. Yeah. So yeah, you guys uh, made yourself a Christmas present in that regard, and our uh, and and a present for us as well, by the way. For achieving it right on the Christmas day, that was pretty cool. It was a nice, nice thing. All right, yeah, fair. Uh, I don't, I don't know how much we actually covered the creation of rewards. I, because we were talking about the trailer for a while, and then we briefly mentioned the rewards. Hmm? Is there, is there anything we want to say in detail about the rewards? Or? I think I already kind of said everything. Yeah. Because we, the, the biggest challenge was finding the right yeah, yeah, yeah. icons that represent our values. And it's some deep stuff, you know, like uh, to, to think of, of these meaningful values and then, okay, um, to do something as simple as finding an icon to re represent it, that was uh, more challenging. That was quite challenging. Um, but from there on, it was rather easy to come up with the... Um, rewards itself because we um, wanted it to reflect the, the values we wanted them to reflect the values and as soon as we came up with the icons it was um, yeah somehow it, the puzzle pieces just came together you know and yeah. once you have the the first piece the biggest dif most difficult piece then the rest was um, coming naturally yeah that's fair so um, unless you have uh anything else to add about the event itself about the creation of the event or, or something that will pop in your mind uh, i guess we can let the chat ask the questions if if anybody has any question about the event reasonable reasonable questions about just, the event i can just add so for the rewards um it was um it, we wanted to, to not have it um, overly uh, shiny or something. Like in, com in a commercial way, they're, they're adding a lot of, yeah, what, how do I say it? Uh, a lot of bling, a lot of shininess, a lot of gold and stuff. We wanted to have it rather simple and elegant and um, because it's, it's these global values. I think I have to go left here. And then it was important to us to to not make it into something commercial, but really just focus on this is it, and y you have this. This is just life. It's part of life. Of all these values are important part of life. So we didn't want to make it with bling or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's nice. Um, our, our big fan called SCS Software in the chat is asking what is the next World of Trucks event? Do um, you remember how we agreed on answering that question? I think that's a, um, that's a trap because last time, I, last time I was on a live stream I accidentally um, leaked the, the date of Christmas, I think. I think it was about the Christmas and it's a bit of uh, irony that I'm I'm representing Christmas now. <laughs> um, and I think I'm being tested. <laughs> no, I learned. I'm being tested if I if I give out the information too easily again. I, but no, I learned. I learned. So I am working on something currently, um, on an event currently, and it's very much fun. Um, but it's also challenging. We have never done an event like that with that topic uh, okay, you can, we can leave that there. speculate it yes. you can <laughs> have fun um, uh, thinking okay what could it be but I'm not gonna give more details this time perfect yeah I think that is the perfect answer yeah so no SWAT well, team this time <laughs> yes. I, I love the fact by the way how we actually accidentally said it on the stream back then and there were still a lot of people on social media and the forum asking like when is the event going to start? Yeah, even, you cannot expect everyone to watch our stream. Uh, 
I do. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? Our streams are awesome, right, chat? How many viewers do we have today? Uh, it's over fi 400. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's a good number. And don't forget, guys, we, we only miss about 300 followers until 50,000, which is crazy. Actually, maybe uh, the community didn't know. Uh, because you remember during the during the live stream when I accidentally said it and then I got threatened with a SWAT team coming in <laughs> and um, I, I asked the chat to to forget about it so maybe they were just like trying to to keep me safe ah. uh, and help me so they didn't leak it outside oh yeah that's smart I really trust our community yeah, yeah. And I think we have one of the best communities out there so I mean it is the best community ever so Come on, yeah, that doesn't that make it complete complete. Yeah, it is actually it is, a fact. It is SCS 100%. Software has one of the best communities. Yes. So I'm proud of being part of that. I'm happy that you guys didn't um, didn't sneak and tell everything. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, I I didn't see. I I don't see any question about the Christmas reflections event in the chat yeah guys if you have any questions don't feel shy just um, ask right away if you rather want what uh want to know what uh, darius ate today for uh, dinner you can go ahead and ask that as well i mean we we will probably have time for it like in 10 minutes so why not <laughs> all right it's food talk the as food, always good old food talk yeah uh, what do you what do you think about the event? You yourself, how do you like the event? <coughs> what is it the is is there something that you like the most about the event? I really love the values. Like seriously, I'm. It's like, you know, these these deep things that no one usually talks about. Um, think trying to define things that are that have a different definition for every person is very was very challenging um, finding an icon that represents that was very challenging but I think um, especially um, not um, going together with this commercial aspect of, of Christmas um, not making it a religious thing but keeping it really universal for every single person out there with something very meaningful um, that was that was something that I I enjoyed and I appreciate it and I I'm happy that this is possible in SS software to come up with something really deep and difficult and challenging so um, I think my favorite is that um, the, yeah the background of the theme the the values um, the Christmas reflection and um, I also really like the trailer i really love the event trailer but i understand that we wanted to have it universal so i like the the paint shop the the um last reward was the paint mm. shop and i like how it looks it's neon and shiny and bright kind of reminds me a little bit um yeah it's a bit of a Gaming, game, gamer vibe or something I'm getting from it. Would you say that this is your favorite event that you've worked on so far? Or <coughs> is there anything else? I really you? liked working on this event, but it was not my favorite event. Um, I was... It's brutally honest. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, the reason is because I have not been so much involved with it. Uh, I had, meanwhile, I had Texas, and uh, the guys who, who watched my Texas stream, I already mentioned there, um, I was um, working so much on Texas, and there, there came so much energy into it, I, it's kind of, feel like it's my baby, right? So you cannot, you cannot um, Take your uh, like, look away from your from your creation, from your baby. So my my 100% of energy came, or let's say 80% of my energy went to Texas, while Gavin took over um, most of the responsibilities, most of the work with the Christmas event, and therefore I really like the Christmas. I like how it's turned out. 
Um, but I, my favorite event so far is Texas. Though I have to say that the event that I'm working on right now is also very cool. And I'm excited. Not I'm right. not going to say more about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just <laughs> but I like, just the, the I like the teasing thought of mentioning it and then ha knowing that you guys won't know what it is. It will be oh, a cool surprise. It's cruel, though. This nah. is so cruel. It's Would just you believe it? Motivating. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we. What is your favorite event in the past year? Wow, that's I'm totally unprepared for that question. <laughs> that's okay. I don't know. My favorite event is cruising Wyoming. Hmm. Why is that? Because it's the first event that, like, that was going on when I started working here. That is why, like, I already mentioned it in streams before that Wyoming is actually my favorite DLC. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, so... Just because it was your first, or yeah. is there any more Yeah, reasons? I have good memories, you know, so... We'll always remember the first, I suppose. Um, yeah, uh, so do you want me to distract the chat? Sure, distract them. Uh, while you're, oh, you select the easy parking? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> selected the easy parking. Would you believe that? Unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, I can distract the chat, yeah, no problem. Uh, chat, do, do you want any, any giveaway today? Or should, should we just uh, skip giveaways or do we do, do, we do like a uh, giveaway in true Christmas fashion or? <laughs> yeah, spread the love. Yes, do a giveaway. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we will do How a giveaway. How much time do we have? Should uh, we I make have another like, job? We have or? like 15 more minutes or 20. So mm -hmm. I think you can select another job and I, we don't have to finish it as, as long as it's going to be. If it, if it would be perfect if it was from the same place, but even if it has like the, the, the delivery is completed. Shouldn't we? It's not possible to deliver the gifts to these places that are not full yet, right? It's probably too far away, yeah. Yeah, just 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 look for a job that has the from where we are, just just find something that has the cargo cargo, I guess. How do I choose my location? Yeah we are in Linz, so right? Let's click on Linz. Ah, okay, it's actually changing when I'm clicking. Exactly. On it. Okay, cool. Alright, uh <coughs> but yeah so while we will select the job and while we will we will let it kind of sink in that we might do a nice lovely giveaway uh we had we actually had a awesome christmas party right last <laughs> month and yes what, what did you think about that christmas party were you here or uh yes i was here let me just check the kilometers so this is oh it's almost the same but this is giving a lot of more money. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Um, so I was there at the Christmas party. It was going to complete. Okay. That's all right. I'm still gonna do this. Um, yeah, I've been there. And it was nice. The food was very nice. And I, um, I like these events where you can actually talk with your colleagues um, and you can get to know each other a little bit. And it's not just about uh, finishing a product or delivering this or solving problems, but it's everyone is relaxed, um, uh, has a um, yeah, and is, is sharing just something something personal. It's just nicer. So I like I like these events. I like that it's it's possible, and it was in our office, and um, SES has the office in Prague. Yeah, there was, there was quite a lot of people, right? Yes. It was, it was yeah, there pretty, were a lot of people. Pretty crowdy because uh, we were allowed to bring our um, friends or family as well. So many, many of SES people brought their kids. We even had an area where where kids were playing, and um, they brought their spouses. And so we had a lot of people in the office probably like 
500 people or something, I would say. And we, our company is, we are, don't even have 300 people, so kind of doubled, doubled the amount of people who were there. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, Chit, Chit, how was your Christmas? Tell us about your Christmas. Let us, let us know if you had a good Christmas, good presents. Who traveled yeah. for Christmas? Yeah. Did, was there anyone going into a warm country? Oh, that's a good question. Imagine that. Yeah, you know that these people awesome. who have, uh, yeah. or who are telling that they're going on a beach for Christmas um, with a uh, with the cocktails, that actually <laughs> laying sounds on the really beach. good. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should try that sometime. Yeah. I might try it sometime. In my SCS life. Christmas party on Hawaii next oh, year. Oh yes. Yeah. How about that? Sounds good. I think so too. Actually, I'm already okay with Spain or something. It's not that far away. Sure. I was Why somebody in the chat says they were in Bali for Christmas. Wow. How many degrees was it in Bali? Yeah, how many well, degrees? Well, everyone was freezing. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, giveaway. So, um, I, I kind <coughs> of have a permission, I, I, I suppose. I have the permission to do a giveaway of keys of the winner's choice, key of the winner's choice, which means if you win the giveaway, you can select an ETS2 product that is available right now on Steam, and we, and we will give it to you. Any so if product? You're, yes. So if you are missing any DLC at all, you will, you will just let us know once, once we will write you a message, and we will provide you with a key. And do they have to tell it right away, or...? Do they ha do I have some time to make a decision? Yeah, yeah, they have they have a time. Uh, they they can just like respond. We will send a private message, and they can just respond whenever. I mean, whenever? within within a reasonable amount of time. So in, what is reasonable? Uh, is it 24, seven, uh, 24 hours or yeah, one hour? I would say like a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? I don't know. I'm, I mean, it's just like imagine you you write to somebody a message like, congratulations, you won, you've won a giveaway, and they will reply two years later or something like that. Well, two years is a little bit um, exaggerated, but I think even a week later would be late. No. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose so. But I I still think that I, I guess week is acceptable sort of. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna do a keyword, as always, so, and absolutely surprisingly to everyone's surprise and shock, the keyword, well, what do you think, Maggie, what should be the keyword? Mm, Christmas reflections. That's a good idea. I have no idea why I started typing cruising. I, I guess I wanted to type cruising Christmas cruising or something Christmas. like Cruising Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Uh, so I like yeah. that. Yeah, uh, Christmas and reflections, and let's do it with a with a hashtag to to make it more challenging. Yes, let's do hashtag so, Christmas reflections. Yes, so something like this <laughs> exactly. Hashtag Christmas reflections. Uh, so now <coughs> the chat is going to be distracted by spamming hashtag Christmas def reflections. Oh, I have to go out. I guess since. I started talking about the cruising. Uh, we might as well remind that actually cruising Texas is going to end at the same time that this event is going to end. Yes. Right? 15th of January. Yes. What day is that? Sunday, right? Yes, so Sunday. So you have time until Sunday this week to take part in the Christmas and take part in the Texas. There are a few more cities in Texas that did not get um, all of the oh okay that was too early uh, that did not get all of the gifts you can check it out even on the the side that I pointed to you earlier or um, just if you are playing the game then you see it on the map the Christmas icons that are orange are already delivered to and the white ones you can still deliver gifts to all right yeah yeah, so just remember that, remember that everyone. Uh, currently we have 66 eligible users for the giveaway. 
So I guess that's fair for like one winner, right? What is an eligible user? Oh, that means that um, the amount of users that wrote the hashtag Christmas reflections in the chat. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So should we give them one more chance, one more minute to write it in the chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna give them like 60 seconds or something like that. Okay. Guys, last minute to choose whatever DLC you want. Yeah, if we if we get it if we get it to 100 eligible users, we're gonna have two winners. Okay. okay? So we only missing 34. Right, no, right now we are missing 90, 19. Sorry. Or 19. Yes, okay. 18, 17. Okay, almost there. It's very dramatic. How about now? No, it's it stopped. Oh, okay. <laughs> only 17 people missing. No. Uh, 15, 15, 15, 12. Okay. Oh my God! Everybody is everybody is busy creating new accounts and 12 writing. More, <laughs> Twelve more people writing hashtag uh, Christmas reflections, and then we have two keys to give out. Yes. Okay. Two keys of your choice of products that are currently available. Any Steam. any DLC? Yes. Make yourself a late Christmas present. Still twelve. Uh, I'm excited. It's only six users now. Six. Okay. Yes. Last six people. Five. Five. Uh, the this game, the game as well. Yeah, um, yeah. You can, you can ask for the base game as well. It's, it's any, any, any key. Anything, anything you want, you can have. Or anything that you can find on Steam. Just, just to, <laughs> just to <laughs> oh, remind you. Anything you want. If you want Pizza Hawaii, you can have Pizza. <laughs> no, maybe not that. Ah uh, no, <laughs> no. In that case, we will select another winner. If somebody <laughs> says Pizza Hawaii, no. Oh, we actually have 109 eligible users. Wow, That's amazing. so we're giving okay. out two keys now. Good job, guys. Okay. Yeah, you ready for it? Or are you waiting for 150? I'm, I'm just giving it like 10 more seconds and then I will, I will stop. Yeah, I don't think we will get um, 40 more people in 10 seconds. So if, we, if we would have 150, would it be three keys then? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so just two keys. We, there's a stop. Listen, two, two are enough, all right. Uh, Any DLC you want. But yeah, yeah, it's it's now, the, the guru is now closed. For we ETS, have, uh, we I have, have to say that. F for ETS, any any product on Steam. But I mean, I don't know uh, if somebody will want something from ETS extremely, I guess. like. Ooh, just be very nice to Darius. He might. Yeah, I don't know. He might change his mind. Yeah, so like I'm not giving away Texas keys for free in the chat whenever I'm moderating, <laughs> <laughs> right, chat? Um, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, the the giveaway is now closed. We're gonna select two winners, <coughs> and you will have the option to select two so to select the key of. Uh, ETS2 product that is available on Steam. We will we will message you, okay? We will message you in the in on on Twitch. So, three, two, one. Rolling the first winner now. Uh, Vlad, it's Vlad Korn again. Vla Vlad, you you have everything. You, you recognize there's, him? There's no way. Yeah, I mean Vlad is is a um, familiar member of the community. So I I. I remember that it's already like he's already won a couple of times, a couple of giveaways. So, oh, he's a lucky person. Yeah, yeah, that's that's there's no way. Congrats! <laughs> so congratulations. Some, you're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Happy and, Christmas. Uh, second winner. Hold on, I need to save the name of this account. Okay, and rolling the second winner. No. Pot awesome, Potato Win. What a, what a great name. I like the name. Potato Win, you, you won. Congratulations. So yeah, we will, we will message you uh, from our 
Twitch account, I assume it might be after the stream, uh, probably not immediately after the stream, but it will happen. So, so give us a chance. Uh, Within one I, week. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I have no idea. Oh, we just made it to the to the trailer, right? Well, I Are guess we done? I guess you can Once I pick it up so it's nice. so it's nice and shiny, and yes. then we will just say some final words. To say goodbye to I the didn't community. Do a good job this time. I'm making it more exciting. You see, I don't want to leave you guys. I don't you want just, this just, to be over yet. Yeah, just just try to try to get in now for like two hours or something like that. <laughs> Another two hours. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. <laughs> we will not go offline and still get the I, I need some food at some point as well. What are you gonna have today, Darius? Uh I honestly have no idea. I I have no idea. Like I don't know. You tell you tell us. Are you gonna go out for food? No, are you gonna order no, no. or can, are you gonna cook? Are you cooking? Uh, yeah, I can cook like uh, bread with a sausage and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure if we can call that cooking. If that counts as okay. cooking. But uh, the message is clear. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Let's so, not continue on. Uh, um, exposing your cooking skills <laughs> any further. How about you? Um, I'm uh, the biggest fan of cooking, but I can I can for sure make some pasta that I can do. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's that's cool. That's uh, amazing, awesome. I think that's a nice last view. Yeah. Let's yeah. Like so this. so we we covered everything today, I believe, from. The information about the event, uh, just a reminder, you can find the uh, information on our blog and in the game as well, in the menu. Uh, I don't know, just uh, just a reminder that you have about three more days to complete the personal goal, I think. Today is 12th yeah. January. Yeah. Along with the Cruising Texas <coughs> event. And yeah, it's been a good time. Do you have any anything else to say to the community, Maggie? Any, um. any final message? Happy belated Christmas, <laughs> and yeah, I hope you liked our event, and I'm looking forward to what will come next, and how you will like the next event that we're gonna make for you. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, thank you for being here, and I'm sort of passively looking for someone to rate. Chad, do you have any suggestion for a rate, for a, for a small late Christmas rate that actually rhymed? Amazing. It did. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you got inspired by the poem that Gavin wrote. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, just, Ertu just. I mean, sure, why not? She has. She has. Oh, if I have the. Stream. Choice, sure. Let's have a go out there. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it's great to have to show more, more female gamers. Yeah, I mean, there is there is a power to the women. There's several, <laughs> <laughs> there's several of them playing uh, ATS and ETS too. So why not? Nice. Right. Uh, a lot of people said in the in the chat Earth to Jess, so I'm just gonna roll with Earth to Jess. So sorry, everybody, uh, but yeah. Yeah, that, that concludes the stream. Thank you all very much for tuning in. It was a great time as always. And yeah, yeah, thank you again, Maggie. Thank you for being here, for talking to us about the event. Thank you, Darius. Yeah. For inviting me. It was, it was <laughs> awesome. It was awesome. So have a, have a nice rest of the day, everyone. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>